What are we cooking today? Um, tomorrow, I have to go to my friend housewarming, and then she's a vegetarian. I'm going to make quinoa. But basically, quinoa is easy. You just boil, cook almost like rice. You cook it, and then you chop tiny little vegetables, scallion, and all that. And then what I'm going to do is uh, smash some um, peanut to finish it off. It's really nice. It's simple, some of the day. You rinse the quinoa under water for three minutes. It's not really dirty, but I will clean my food. I'm going to eat it. Add one cup of quinoa to one and a half cup of boiling water. Boil it for 15 minutes. When it, the water completely evaporates, cover it for another 15 minutes. That should be done. Now it's a daunting task of cutting all the vegetables. Hey, it's a dirty job. Somebody got to do it. I'm going to start peeling the carrots. Start out with smaller carrots. There's less chopping to do. This is a very nice chopping board. I got it as a gift from my friend Christopher. He said that all respective chefs should have one. It's also good for the knife. I don't know the name of it, but whatever. It's free. Clean the shallot and, uh, on both ends and cut it really, really thin. I don't like onion, shallot, and all that, but for this case it worked because it adds a lot of flavor to the dish. I blanch the asparagus for two minutes before I cutting it. I haven't really tell you the portion of what you're going to put it in. But basically, you can put anything in it, in this quinoa. You can even co put cooked shrimp in it. But my friend is a Buddhist vegetarian, and I don't want to screw up her food diet thing. I also blanch the uh, um, corn for two minutes. I always said two minutes, but we really that's all you need. And this, this is very fresh from the green market. This is an unusually large shallot and I was going to show you how to um, dice, put small dice. And then I peeled it. And if you can do the same thing with the onion, you slice it like two or three times, it depends on how big they are. And then turn it around, cut it 90 degrees, and then turn it around again, that get you the the, the little dice of um, shallot, onion. Now it's the peanuts turn. Instead of um, chopping it, I put it in the plastic bag and try to get rid of some of the air in it. And then just pound it a couple times and then it's just, uh, you know, that's it. Now you put the quinoa in a bigger bowl, let it cool down before you put the vegetable in it. Because you don't want the fresh cut vegetable to get hot and yucky. Now this is the fun part. After all the chopping, you just put everything in it. Mix it like a kid in a sandbox. Add one tablespoon of liquid amino, it's a healthy version of soy sauce, and then a teaspoon of sesame oil. It adds a lot of flavor to it. And you notice by now, I don't really measure things. Add the chopped up peanut very last minute right before you serve it. And also I'm showing you, you can eat it with chicken.